Greetings Pisces and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Halloween tarot reading. This is a general tarot reading meant for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. For more messages, I recommend that you check out the other astrological signs that correspond with your natal sun, moon, Venus, and or rising. So let's dive into your reading. We're going to begin with the Seasons of the Witch, Samhain Oracle. And we have for you divination with number 14. Take a breath, take it twice. Insightful reflections are guided by light. So I feel like that this is saying to pay attention to your own inner light. Let your soul light be your guide. It is divine. At the bottom of the deck, we have number 27 with Owl. Behold sight, O ancient ones, for there is magic in the darkest of places, if one dares to open their eyes. So I feel like that goes very nicely with divination. I feel like that your soul light, your inner voice, has some wisdom to impart to you. Let's get you a couple cards from the Halloween Oracle. And we have for you scrying, intuition, how beautiful with the divination. Here is a crystal ball. She is also holding a crystal ball. She also has a tarot cards spread out before her. So these are different ways of divining answers. Underneath the deck, we have invisibility with authenticity. By listening to your inner self, you are able to be authentic with yourself, rediscovering who you are at this time in your life. Because we do change and yet we remain the same. And I feel like in some ways you're coming back to who you truly are. Let's get you a couple cards from the Solitary Witch. And we have for you number one, Wishes. I love it. Wish Fulfillment. The bottom of the deck, we have her little cauldron with number 37. Three and seven equal 10, which brings us back to one. So I feel like that you are brewing up some wishes, making your wishes come true, taking the action, creating that synergy and energy of transformation because the cauldron does represent transformation as well as wisdom creating through change but yet it's within the containment of her little cauldron Okay, let's go deeper into this reading with the tarot. And Pisces, you are a very intuitive sign. And I really feel like that you are taking action to manifest your wishes. And they manifest because you're being authentic. You're allowing your true self to arise. 
without drawing attention to who you are, that's part of that invisibility, you're just being who you are. Okay, we start off with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, some of you might be juggling time and energy, resources, the energy that's coming in and what's going out, balancing your time, balancing your schedule. Next, we have the King of Wands. You are inspired. You have ideas that you want to manifest. The wands represent our thoughts and ideas. And by taking action, you're able to manifest that which you wish for. Then we have the hangman. This is taking a different perspective on things but also uh, some things are suspended so that they can transform. Just like in her little cauldron, sometimes you gotta let things simmer and cook to the right temperature, to the right tenderness. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. Receiving that which you need, receiving the resources, receiving the money, receiving the payoff. And then we have the world, receiving the accolades, receiving recognition, finding your place in the world. And you're being rewarded for the work you are doing. And you're going to find that it was all worth your time. Okay, let's get some tarot cards from the Halloween tarot. And below the Two of Pentacles, we have the High Priestess. Okay, intuition and divination. The high priestess is the keeper of wisdom, of the mysteries. She can see the past, present, and future. She can understand the unfoldment. If you take this action, you're going to get these kinds of results. Next, we have the Ace of Imps, the Ace of Wands, below the King of Wands. You are inspired. You have a very good idea. And then we have the Nine of Imps. Sometimes keeping it to yourself, part of this indiv the invisibility, keeping your project secret, protecting your work, because with the hangman, think of it as like a cocoon and the caterpillar transforming into the butterfly. It's a mystery. It's a secret. It's enshrouded. It's protected. Next, we have the Ten of Imps. The Ten of Wands. The Burdens. But this is someone who's bringing in their harvest. They worked hard for that harvest that's going to carry them through the winter. Then we have the Queen of Pumpkins. Resourcefulness. You're ready to reveal to your community your ideas, the work. And you receive recognition and appreciation for your hard work because the queen of pumpkins the queen of pentacles is ruled by capricorn she's all about business but she's also about her community because she knows her success lies within offering services to the community and you can see the ten of imps as these are the services I have to offer to my community. 
and you reap the rewards. Okay, let's get you a magical spell card because, you know, you got to have a little magic with Halloween. And we have for you strength with number 34, strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, I empower. So you are empowered. You are building your strength. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have number 21 with sensuality, your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. So this is you having fun with what you're doing. You're loving what you're doing. You love being your authentic self because your ideas flow easily to you, building up your strength, building up your prosperity. Let's get you a couple cards from Secrets of the Witch for a little bit more magic. And we have for you, natural magic. Nature is the witch's path, her passion, her source of power. From the natural world, she sends you her wisdom, patience, timing, the art of change, love, growth, and release. Be blessed. I think that's a beautiful confirmation to this whole reading. Your wish fulfillment, taking the proper actions, putting the right ingredients into your work, into your little cauldron, and doing that which feels right, having fun, following your bliss. And finally, we have sigil sorcery. The witch has created a sigil a personal magical symbol just for you. Close your eyes, tune in, and feel her drawing it into your energy field. You are protected, you are safe, you are loved. How beautiful with the scrying and divination. Uh, the wishes, you might create a sigil that represents a symbol of your prosperity or your wishes, uh, the pentacle, and you do have a lot of pentacles here. A pentacle is a sigil, and it has to do with business. It brings all four elements together with spirit at the top because it takes your personal touch, your spirit, your action, to manifest it into the world and your community. So I'm going to end your reading here, Pisces. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. And until next time, take care and blessed be my friends.